Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Oak House Journals, Carol here. I wanted to give an update following the boho bead and lace snippet video that I posted a couple of days ago. I made the boho beads originally because I wanted to include them in a private swap that I was doing um, and because I'm not a boho journal kind of girl um, I decided that the additional ones that I made, I would just include them as little thank yous to my lovely customers who had bought um, uh, a journal from me. Um, but since I posted the um, video, I've been asked by several viewers if I would make um, some boho beads for them, either as swaps or to sell. Um, now, if you watch the video, you will know that I said that I had a kind of love-hate relationship um, making these boho beads. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry, I was being a drama queen. Um, I did enjoy making them, but I have to own up, they're not my favourite thing to make. And I just don't have the time at the moment um, to make any more boho beads over the next couple of months. Um, and to be honest, I would rather be making other things that I enjoy far more than um, these boho beads. So um, what I've decided to do is I've decided to put the ones that um, I wanted to use for my swap to one side and the rest, the ones that I were I was going to use as thank yous, um, I've decided to bundle them up with either sari silk or silk border, um, sari silk borders from my stash and put them in my Etsy shop. So this is just a, a quick video to tell those ladies um, who made the inquiry about buying these that they are now listed in my Etsy shop. There are about... 10 I think 10 maybe 13 um, and that's all there are and um, I don't really foresee that I will be making any more in the f foreseeable future um, I never say never um, but I think it's unlikely as I say I, I'd rather be playing making my journals and by far making those lovely little lace snippets so this is just a quick run through to show you what I've married up with each bead um, and uh, just to give you that update. So we have um, the green section as I call it. So there is this bead with a clear glass bead on top, a couple of dangles, and I've put it with this lovely green sari silk border, um, which is shot as you can see with um, some lovely gold metallic thread. So there's that one. That's about two inches um, in width, that last one. Then there's this lovely little bead. Now, I nearly kept this one for myself because I, I love this little baby. Um, this is the one that had the peacock-coloured um, raw silk. And that's the border that I've put it with. It's got little dangles at the bottom and it has little green beads um, glass beads top and bottom. There is about a metre of all of these um, borders. I didn't have much but just enough to complement each each bead. So there's that one and then this is the other green one and this is more aqua, aqua bluey greens. Um, this one has the purple beads at the top. Um, the seed beads are green on this one and it has these lovely flat glass beads at the bottom in aqua blues and it's married up I think this is about one and three quarters this piece of sari silk border so there's those three pop those to one side there whoops they go flying then I have my red ones so there is this bead which has maroon coloured um, sari silk, purple glass beads and these lovely dangles, whoops if I get back in Campbell, these lovely dangles and then there's um, two pieces of sari silk border um, to go with this one, this one's about an inch and a half and that one's just an inch, so 
So there are those. Oh, got some tape on my fingers there. Then there is this one. And if you remember, this was the um, Sari Silk Chiffon scarf that I chopped up to make my dangles. This one has the glass beads at the top and that's the silk that goes with that one. Then there's this bead. This one has purple glass beads top and bottom and the chain dangles. So there's that one. Then I refer to these as my little chubby babies. <laughs> these are the soft, very, very pale pink ones. This has um, an oval glass faceted bead at the bottom, pale pink pearls. And this is some of my own um, hand dyed uh, sari silk chiffon ribbon. So there's two of those that are going in the shop, both exactly the same. Then there's two of these. These are uh, lilac, sari silk, eyelash trim, um, pale pink beads and flat lilac beads at the bottom and more of that sari silk of mine, hand dyed sari silk. And then there are these three and this is almost peacock coloured um, hand dyed sari silk ribbon, it's not chiffon, it's ribbon um, and then these are the beads. Um, this one is a standalone bead, it has two green glass beads at the top, two at the bottom and a green dangle and then these two again have the same peacock um, sari silk ribbon and both beads have a rich purple um, pearl type bead at the top and this chain sequin dangle at the bottom. So there we go, just a quick update to let you know that these are now in my Etsy shop if you are interested um, and thank you so much for letting me um, share these with you and to provide you with that update. Have a great day everyone, Say, stay well and safe. Bye bye now.